Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant, and this is Pillars of Eternity, episode 13. I've just returned right. from Cade Nua, and I'm in need of restocking my supplies. Welcome. And hopefully I can do that here, although I may need to go over to the blacksmiths. No, I can do that here, which is good. I want... I want the... Um, camping gear there and I'm gonna sell some of these stuff I've picked up so far on my travels I've got some torches here maybe I can sell them though perhaps I've got a bunch of better equipment here that I might be able to equip some of it will probably be worth keeping but uh, we'll look at that in a minute we don't want that oh do we want the hammer war hammer I did want to keep that Whispers of Yenwood. Sword, one hand. 13 to 19 slash pierce. That may actually be better for... For granite. Suspect. A whole bunch of different hoods. And the other bits and bobs I've got. Anyway, let's sell them. And we'll have a quick look at what we're going to... Equip our guys with. So that sword is also 13 to 19. And wherever that other one is, is also 13 to 19, isn't it? So I don't really see the advantage of that sword over the one granite has already got. Well, it's got some additional properties actually, so we will equip that. And you can see actually it's got. A flaming red colour to it. Rowards Grimore. Don't really want to give that to um to Durance. I want this guy to have it. Tax reflex summons a flaming ball of fire. Tax fortitude eats away at the target's spirit, inflicting corrosive damage. Combat only creates a mystical shield around the caster, suffusing them with bonuses to burn, freeze, corrode, shock, and shock damage reductions. Are these ones I have already, or are they ones I can get from the Grimore there? Probably ones I can get. At any rate, it's time to be heading off to Defiance Bay, I think. Poor Meyerwald. He couldn't contend with all that he knew of himself. A cruel fate. It may be my fate, too. He was weak. I won't end up the same way. I don't think knowledge was a problem. He said that if I can find out what caused this, it might help me. That is true. And there is no such thing, in my experience, as too much knowledge. Karna smiles. Come, we'll find your answers. And mine, I hope. Indeed, come, let's go. Let's head for Defiance Bay. So it seems Defiance Bay is a relatively short trek now. I'm going to leave... Actually, I can get one more um, camping unit, can't I? One more bit of camping supplies. As I've only got five at the moment. Might as well stock right up. See if the blacksmith is interested in selling me those. I wonder if by now actually if he's got any better weapons. It's always possible, isn't it? He was meant to have some better well stuff done. at this point after we helped him out recovering his gear. But then of course it's going to be ridiculous amounts of cash. But anyway, we're here for cabin supplies, aren't we? If he sells them, that is. Have I missed it? Doesn't look like he sells them, does it? Oh well. Are we going to sell anything else here? Some of this stuff is now showing that wasn't showing. When we are at the uh, 
It's not worth very little, isn't it? Never mind. A defiance play it is then. Off we go. So it seems like there's a somewhat of a trek to get there as always. But we have a new route available to us. Due to the fact we repaired one of the areas of Kaed Nua. Which means we can get down to the Wood End Plains. It's going to take us one day, 18 hours to complete your journey from the Gilded Fowl. It's quite a substantial amount of time, isn't it? I would imagine they will be fatigued when we get there. So we might find ourselves needing to camp more or less immediately. Oh, I cannot keep up this pace. That attack was imminent, but your patrols staved off the enemy. Yep, and of course they are all fatigued, and that was to be expected. They're going to camp here before we move on any further. And still, we are getting these strange visions. Maybe soon I'm we'll sorry. find out I didn't what they are. Sneak up on you. I just, well, you seemed preoccupied. What's on your mind? I suppose I've just noticed you acting a little uh, unusual lately. Talking to people who aren't there, remembering flashbacks of your previous life. I, I just want to make sure you're doing all right. Yes, I am. I'm fine. Ah, well, good. Yep. I should let you rest. It looks like we'll have another full day tomorrow. It already is tomorrow, Aloth. And yes, perhaps we are going to have a full day. Indeed. Let's have a look at the size of this area here. We'll stick to the path. Don't want to deviate too much just yet unless we come across a reason for doing so. Seems I can't zoom out as far as I could previously in other areas. Hush, Itumak. We'll just wait a little longer. Ah, maybe this is another person we could hire. Yes, I recognise this um, portrait for from some of the concept art that was out early on in the uh, campaign for Pillars of Eternity. A dwarven woman dressed in skins and hides leans against a road marker. Her face is turned down, her eyes darkened by a thick stripe of face paint. She's sharpening a bone arrowhead with a scrimshaw-handled knife. Her attention, however, is focused on a bare figurine between her feet. A large, white-furred fox standing at her heels looks up at your approach. Easy, Itumak. It's not him. Another uh, requir not requirement not matched. Met. Tripping over my words today, sorry for that. Another requirement not met topic here. It seems that most of them are actually that way. I don't think I've come across one yet that I can actually say. You seem lost. She lifts her head up and looks at you. I know exactly where I am. It's my friend who's lost. Well, who are you waiting Short for? Version? I'm looking for a very, very old friend. I'm not sure what skin he's wearing now, but I'll know him when I see him. Your friend is supposed to meet you here. That's what I heard. Of course, the man who told me so was carrying a staff he claimed was made from dragon bone, but I know Whitewood when I see it. That should have been my first clue, but I had to try something. Uh, back up. What does this stranger have to do with your friend? Try something. What exactly are you talking about? The long version. Here we go. I'm from an island to the far south called Nasitok. I came here looking for a village elder, a man we knew as Persok. I'm a hunter back home, so tracking someone wouldn't normally be a problem. But Persok's trail is cold, to say the least. Well, why can't you find him? There can't be that many of your people in Deerwood. He died when I was still a young girl. Forgot to mention that part, did I? I'm looking for his latest reincarnation, which could be anyone. Well, how long have you been looking for him? Five years. So you've been searching five years for a stranger you barely remember, who could be anyone now. Why can't you find him? They can't, well, we know that. That about sums it up. Then it must be an important duty. Actually, I know how you feel. So I keep reminding myself. 
Still, it would be nice if important duties came with clearer instructions. How does that statuette figure into it? She dusts the figurine on her trousers and phrases it in her small flat palm. It's carved in the shape of a bear, smooth and round. The polished Adra is worn to a dull mat along its arch, back with and ovid haunches. A soft glow emanates from within. Cute, isn't it? It belonged to Persa. Before he returned to the wheel, he left a splinter of his soul in it. Something to help us find him later. As she holds it out to you, you feel wisps of sensation. Not quite memories, but traces of someone. When I left Nasitak, it was completely dark inside. But as I've gotten closer to Persok, it's glowed steadily brighter. Since I've reached the Deerwood, however, it's gotten hard to read. Some days it flickers and goes dark. Others it shines nice and bright for a few hours. But most of the time it looks just like this. What will you do now? I can tell you what I won't do again. Rely on miracle peddlers. It was some so-called watcher who sent me to this crossroads in the middle of nowhere in the first well, place. Well then, she's gonna like me, isn't she? I was on my way out of the Balmarsh when I heard talk of a traveling mystic who could supposedly see souls. I knew it was a long shot, but what did I have to lose? I went to see this fellow and gave him the Audra figurine. He made a big show of moaning and rolling his eyes, and after I'd given him five golden dukes to lift the shroud, he told me to seek the crossroads in the field between the wolf slayer and the twining trees. Oh, go on. He thought he was being vague, but I know the area well enough to recognize that he meant this place, right between Defiance Bay and Twin Elms. I had a bad taste in my mouth, but my coin was spent and I'd already left an arrow in his knapsack as a friendly warning. Told him I'd come back and leave him with another if it turned out he was giving me the runaround. I've been here a week now. Guess he had the last laugh after all. Well, may I see the figurine? Why? Why? I just want a better look at it. I'm a real watcher. Let's try that. You expect me to believe that? After the story I just told you? Well, I wouldn't tell you the same story again, would I? If it wasn't true, because you're not likely to believe the same lie twice, are you? What if I'm telling the truth? After five years, it's worth taking the chance. You've got nothing to lose by trying this. I mean it. Number three. Fine. But if you try to run, just remember that my arrows are faster. She, she hands you the figurine, her chapped knuckles grazing your hand. She watches you examine it, wary but cautious. You rise the Adra bear, turning it in the light as your eyes catch a tiny, glinting scratch. The scenery around you melts away. You are standing on a cliff overlooking the water, seeing through the eyes that aren't your own. You catch the musk of beasts amid the fresh scent of vegetation, and your heart beats a little faster. You'll have to watch your step up here. You look down just long enough to see the sharp Powell cliffs drop into the water hundreds of feet below you. Return the figurine. I've got it. He's standing on a cliff. I see a vision of cliffs high above the water. Does that sound familiar? A perception needs to be increased, I guess. Your question is greeted with shrugs and silence. This is a shame. I guess higher perception would have been better, but there we go. I've got it. He's standing on a cliff. What are you talking about? What just happened? I told you. I'm a watcher. She blinks at you a few times, calculating. I know this sounds strange, but it's the truth, says Aloth. You realize I've got no coin to give you, even if I did believe you. Come with me. I've got other business in this area, and we can look for Persok on the way. Ah, uh, who are we going to get rid of then? She's a ranger. No, I don't really want to get rid of anyone. I've come to rely on the two priests now for their ability to give me a mana regeneration. And Kana, I kind of like him. I think we might need him a little bit later. From the party management screen, you can see what your allies are up to when they aren't in the party. 
If you assign them to adventures, you can see how long it will take them to complete their assignment. Recalling a companion or adventurer from a mission before it's completed will forfeit all the potential rewards for that assignment. So we can dismiss um, Kana for the moment and take on the Ranger because it looks like we can take Kana back at some point. And Kana seems to have disappeared. New quest, The Long Hunt. And now we get to the party management. Sagani draws up beside you, her fox following at her heels, and takes a seat next to you. Even if you are putting one over on me, it's nice to have a hunting party again. Finding Persak must be important for you to have travelled so long. Five years for me. Must be thirty something for Itumak. Given its name, the fox looks up. That must be an exhausting. It's been a long hunt. A long time away from my family. Before, I'd crossed the tundra of Nasitok following caribou herds. I didn't want to leave Kalu and our children, but I was eager to visit lands my people rarely do. But five years without finding them. It's like two hours of necking. I'm ready to be done with it. Why do you have to find Persok? You should go home then. Soul recovery is an old village tradition. We call it the Tarnak Elitsok. Once in a generation, we seek the soul of a much respected and long dead village elder. We tell him what's changed in the village, how people remember him. The only other Tarnak Elitsok during my lifetime happened when I was a girl. Not long after Persok died, we feasted on blubber and fermented milk for a week, and we honored the chosen huntress as a hero. Then she left, and we returned to our duties. We still sang her name to the skies during festival season, but we otherwise didn't speak of her. I see. I'm sure your village still remember you, Sugani. People often forget what isn't in front of them. Oh, what happened to her? I don't think she ever returned. It happens that way sometimes. I see. It's not being forgotten by my village that troubles me. But sometimes I wonder how my husband and children remember me. If they think of me often. That must be difficult. Still, there's no point in dwelling on it. More often I find myself wondering whether Persak will remember us. You claim to see souls. What do you think? Do you remember your past lives? Yes, in fragments. She leans a hair's breadth closer. Really? What's that like? It's strange. Feels like I'm going crazy most of the time. Uncomfortable. I'd just as soon not remember any of it. Frustrating. I only wish I knew more. I've been learning a lot about myself. Good things, I hope. Maybe Persak will be the same way would make my job of telling him about the village a lot easier. What would you tell him about your village? Has your village changed much since his last time? What would you tell him? Masuk is probably much the same as it was a hundred years ago. We live between tundra and frozen forests, and the land takes as much as it gives. But our hardships bring us together. And the elders truly unite us. They keep the stories of past generations, and they guide us from season to season, through good years and lean. Recently, they've been a lot of good years. My aunts say we've had fewer clashes with the neighbouring villages thanks to the hunting territories that Persok helped establish. In bad years we rely on trade with the merchants that pass our shores. We exchange walrus tusks and sealed pelts for grains that last us the, the hard winters. Persok brokered a lot of these agreements too. He got this one from the Amorna ships that used to trade with us. Sounds like Persok did a lot for your people. That's what I'm supposed to remind him. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you're on a hunt of your own, though. You feel the thrill of the chase? Ready for this to be over. It's too early to tell. Fair enough. Might as well keep moving while we've got some daylight. Indeed, let's go. Let's go. North to Cadenur. Where did I come from that way? West to Defiance Bay. I want to go west. 
Come on then, people. Let's get going. Let's get going west to Defiance Bay. Quite nice realised areas here. Very much in the style of the games of old, but also so much higher in resolution and quality, aren't they? So the wooded plains. We can get to the Edwellian Bridge. Just four hours to get there, so a short journey, really. Shouldn't take us long. But that's a course if we can get into Defiance Bay that easily. I suspect it may be harder to do that than just simply walking in. And of course it looks like we can look at these and get some more history of these people. It's something I really want to do but I don't know how you feel about sitting and watching a lot of that because they do take a lot of time so maybe it's something I'll come back and look at a little bit later on my own unless of course you do want to have a look then by all means and let me know and I'll make sure I stop off and look at these come on Anna. it takes a smooth tongue to solve problems doesn't it someone flaming there flamey hair Almost. More people around this way. Then, well, I guess Defiance Bay is a city. Welcome to Defiance Bay, but watch yourself in our city. Understand? And a copper lane. Will take you 15 minutes to complete your journey. Just inside the city, then. Into the city walls we go. And what we find in Defiance Bay. Might well determine a lot of things for our party here. I suspect we'll pick up a whole lot of new quests in here as well because it's probably not going to be a small place. Looks like quite a bunch of Defiance places as Bay. well. The city at the heart of the Deerwoods Revolution now seems on the brink of another. Refugees line the streets, homeless and hungry, displaced by Whiteman's legacy hoping for relief within the city walls, and finding none. Dissidents congregate to protest and to heckle, calling for an end to Anamancy and the ouster of their duke. The city's militiamen cast fearful looks as they patrol the streets, their hands trembling at the hilts of their weapons. The capital of a country that had not long ago incinerated a god now appears to be a spark away from sharing the deity's fate. And that needs to find spy. What are we going to go straight into as a cat? I know you don't see animals in many games, and that's something that's true of films as well. You can watch all sorts of films and TV series, and how often is it you see animals roaming the streets? Uh, Defiance Bay. I miss Adia already. Well, you don't have to come along, Eloth. The Animancers have brought a divine wrath upon us all. And you would blame the Animancers. We don't actually know what's going on yet. So it could well be anything causing the problems you face. A lot of places here to visit. We're going to have to try and have a little bit of a look. Take a focused look here. Go to the Temple of Wodica. I learned from Mayor that the members of the Leaden Key tend to worship Wodica. And the steward has mentioned that there is a temple dedicated to Wodica in Defiance Bay. So before we start really looking around too much in Defiance Bay, we're going to go to um, the Temple of Wodica. Sienna's and it's why we've come to this place in the first place. Catacombs. This sounds pleasant. So I suspect that we're not going to find what we want there. Let's get down to this other gate then. I guess we're going to be down this way. And we can see if we can find the 
Temple of Whitaker. Come on there. Walk in. No, I'd rather walk in, I was going to look at the quest journal, but apparently walk in pauses them. What do you want to tell us? A young boy watches the passerby and counts a grimy handful of coins. His face and arms are smudged with dirt, but except for the grass stains, his clothes are in good condition. As you approach, he blinks and makes a quick, fur furtive effort to pocket his coins. Hey, mister, want a nice secret? He wipes his nose with a sleeve. I know a real good secret. Careful. I've travelled the continent and the hardest bargains still come from my seven-year-old. Really? What is it? Right. I'm sure a squeaky-voiced kid knows amazing things about this city. Beat it. It wouldn't interest me. Really? What is it? He shrugs and clasps his hands behind his back, kicking the loose pebble. I just saw folks hiding some really neat things. I should show you where, but Mum and Dad told me not to talk to strangers. But maybe you could help me with something, then we wouldn't be strangers. Nope, I don't think so. Not yet, lad. Plus, how do I know you're not leading me into a trap? So, let's move to Brackenberry, I guess. Of course, we've got no idea where the Temple of Wodica is. We only know that it's here in Defiance Bay. It could be in any one of these districts, couldn't it? But at least we can look at the map here. Look at the Adra Cliffs here. Child Barrel, that's an inn, I suppose. House Domenal. First, first Fires or Fist Fires? First Fires. Sanitarium. Andrew's Gift. Andrew's House. Let's just come a little bit down here and have a look at these uh, Adra Cliffs. Not the sort of thing you see every day, is it? Lovely jade green. Nice. So, let's go up to the first fires, I suppose. It looks like an area where there's likely to be temples out of all of the areas there. Come on. Come on, party. Let's get up there. And then later on, we'll come and have another look. A close look at Defiance Bay because there's a there's going to be a lot of stuff here, without any doubt. Looks like interesting water effects over the fountain there. The marble is cool and perfectly smooth. Droplets of crystal clear water bead the statues. Indeed. The woman is absorbed in a book, muttering softly as she reads. The cities are quite alive, isn't it? Take 15 minutes to the first fires. I'm hoping that this is where we need to be. Come on. Change how much metagame information is displayed. Ducal Palace. Valian Embassy. Crucible Keep. Temple of Wodica. Oh, in quite a state of disrepair, isn't it? Now, I was expecting a temple of. a grand temple, actually. And we've got something that's... Is this the old church? Yep, it looks that way. We've got a ghost coming to talk to us, or a memory, at least. Praise. Praise to the exiled queen. May her crown be restored and her justice prevail. Thank you, you saved me from reading Come that. Come to pay your respects to the queen that was. Who are you? I was told to find the Temple of Wodica here. And so you did. These savage colonists may have burned it down, but worship of the Oathbinder is alive and well. These stairs lead to the main sanctum. What stairs? These stairs, of course. The sanctum was always below ground, adjacent to the catacombs, so it wasn't destroyed by the fires. Tell me where I'd find an entrance to these catacombs. There are various entrances throughout Defiance Bay, but I dare say the easiest to reach is in Copper Lane. I haven't been to that part of town in ages, but as I recall, it's somewhere near the southern gate. Okay. Various entrances through Defiance Bay. 
It's truly a pity to see what the locals have done to Wojtka's house of worship. Who are you? What are you doing? I'd like to know more about the Temple of Wojtka. You know that you're a ghost, right? Goodbye. You're all right. It looked almost like you'd lost your footing for a minute. It happens from time to time. It feels that way when I see into the other. You really are a watcher, aren't you? Once in a great many generations, one of my people is born with the ability to speak to souls. Usually such individuals become elders. or a lone set of tracks in the snow. I would have thought my journey would be easier if I could see what you see. But looking at you, I'm not so sure. My abilities are a blessing. This gift is accursed. Neither am I sure. Believe it or not, I once would have rejoiced to know that I'd picked to travel far in search of something great, but even these gifts come with a cost, don't they? Forgive me if I was a little sceptical of your abilities before. I can't say I've met a real watcher before. Once you've seen it a few times, the shock wears off. Never far from the Queen. So it looks like the uh, entrances we want to the Temple of Wodeka are dotted around this city at various places so it's going to take a little while to do that I think we're going to need a little bit more searching so here we are then in Defiance Bay let's have a quick look here we've had a look in a few of the districts here looks like we probably could have come in through the Mad Maher Bridge anyway we didn't we come from Cade Newer so we've had a look at these few districts. We'll have a look at these other districts and I suspect we're going to need to come back and have a closer look at these in order to find the entrance into Wodeka's Temple. And that is what we will be doing in the next episode. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys and girls next time. This has been Obsidian Ant, signing off.